take. Now, I told Nick a couple of years ago, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Ezekiel Elliott was in the commissioner's office several times in his career. Haven't been wrong about it. I don't think he'll be suspended for this one right here, but it's in the file. And Park Avenue, of course, they have to look. He's one of the most valuable players. He's one of the most visible players. And this is in the same family of something that he was already suspended for. And just quickly, if something were to happen in the future, he has removed all benefit of the doubt he could possibly get. You know what I mean? Whether he does it or doesn't do it in the future. If Zeke Elliott's accused of something, if someone says he did this to me, there are now going to be a lot of people who say, all things being equal, I don't believe Zeke. Right. Because he seems to have a track record of, let's just call it the very least, some bad behavior and bad decisions. All right, let's get back to the NBA now. The Toronto Raptors are riding the coattails of Kawhi Leonard. And while his focus is on the Warriors, Kawhi's pending free agency looms. Many teams want him. Only one appears to have the leg up on getting him. Kawhi's uncle and advisor saying, quote, Toronto's a beautiful city. Kawhi has often spoken highly of Toronto. See, let's read the tea leaves. How optimistic should the Raptors be about signing Kawhi to a new deal? Well, they own his rights. I mean, he's going to have to opt out of his contract to, 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 to move on. The memories that Kawhi has, he's only got two memories. That's San Antonio, what happened there. And now what he's got going on in Toronto. Um, I'm fortunate. I was able to talk to Uncle Dennis yesterday and talk about some of the things that Kawhi is involved with. And Kawhi has spoken very, very highly of what Toronto, not only the city, but also the organization, the medical staff, the coaching staff, how to utilize his ability. And he feels like he's gotten better as a basketball player. So all those things to be very important. But right now, Uncle Dennis, he don't know. Because Kawhi is about the next treatment, the next practice, and the next game. And he said that's the way he's going to look at things, just like that. I'm trying to get healthier, I'm going to practice, and I'm going to make the most of game number one. I'm only guaranteed four games. So they feel as if Kawhi will be healthier than he has been. But right now, their sole focus is to make history in this NBA Finals. They don't care anything about the Knicks, Toronto, the Clippers, or the Lakers right now because all those all those things will be there. The day after the finals, they'll sit down, Uncle Dennis, his agent Mitch Frankel, Kawhi, and, and his significant other, and then they'll make a decision as far as their basketball. But right now, because he's playing with them, he has the dunk of the, of, of the, of, of the NBA playoffs, he's got the buzzer beater of the playoffs. He is at record-breaking pace. What if he puts together, let's say, four 35-point games in this final? What if he's the finals MVP? I mean, because right now, I know LeBron James wants to play with Kawhi, and they know Kevin Durant wants to play with Kawhi. Kawhi is concentrating on the, the, the job at hand, and that is to shock the world and be able to defeat the Golden State Warriors. In my communication with him and the agent, as of yesterday, that's what they're thinking about. And Kawhi is going to end up with four spectacular options. And I, I think because of how he's played and how he's conducted himself and how he's handled free agency, it's going to be very hard for anyone to begrudge him no matter what option he takes. In no particular order, option one will be to stay in Toronto, either as the defending world champions or as the defending Eastern Conference champions. Option two, go to New York and play with Kevin Durant. Option three, go to Los Angeles and play with LeBron James. Option four, go to Los Angeles and play with whomever the Clippers build around with you as the focal point centerpiece. There is no bad option. Those are four amazing, three amazing cities. You could argue three of the best five cities. Now I'm listing Americans, North American cities, but three great cities like that, that people can have successful, <laughs> fruitful lives in. And Kawhi, because he has handled his business so professionally and played so well. And, and turned the narrative around from what it was last year. And played through injury, turned the narrative around, and not allowed this story. He did take a page out of LeBron's book in this way. I'm going to treat free agency like this. It starts when free agency starts. This mm -hmm. is the regular season. This is the playoffs. I'm not doing what Kyrie did and holding that press conference when I'm in New York. I'm not doing what Kevin Durant did and having it be a, it, say mm -hmm. that I don't want it to be a story, but continue giving oxygen to the story. Now, I will say, for Raptor fans, you should feel better about your chances than you did four months ago. Sure. But the one decision 
I feel that if Kawhi had, if Kawhi knows he's going to the Lakers, Clippers, or Knicks, he obviously can't say it right now. But right now, if he knew, if he knows I'm staying with Toronto, he could say it. So I don't think he's made up his mind. No. I don't think it's definitive in yes. that regard. Absolutely. Because if it were, he would tell us. Just like if Kevin Durant knew he were staying with Golden State, he, he say. can say that. And so, but we'll see what happens the rest of the way. And I think he's positioned himself where he, no matter what the, they do in the finals, Kawhi has done his job for the Toronto Raptors. Knowing what we know about who's on the teams this year and next year, of the four teams Nick listed, the Raptors, the Knicks, the Lakers, and the Clippers, adding Kawhi would give which of those teams the best chance to win next year? I mean, if you go to the Knicks with him and KD, that's a special team. If he goes to the Lakers, him and LeBron, it's a special team, and they don't have to get rid of the young players. I think that the Lakers are the best team on paper if he goes there. But I'm just going to tell you, Toronto fans, Knicks fans, Clippers fans, Lakers fans, Kawhi Leonard is a different dude. This dude just dropped Brand Jordan for New Balance, okay? So if you think, if we ever had a player do that, no. So to think that we know what he's going to do beforehand, if you're outside that circle, uh, that you're just guessing. Now, I do have a feeling where Kawhi is going to go. I think it's been... Fairly, fairly consistent, but I'm not at liberty. I don't, I don't uh, want Uncle Dennis and the agent calling me. But I do have a feeling where Kawhi is going to end up. Jenna, if your question was where's the best chance place for him to win, yes. well, the place he's at might win the damn title. So it, 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 you could argue the best place for him, Roll even with the opp opportunity to play with LeBron or Durant, yeah. play with the Raptors, who might be the defending champs here in a few weeks. But I think Kawhi is going to do math differently than a lot of us necessarily would. New Balance, yeah. coming up. Are the Warriors in trouble in game one without KD? That's ahead on First Things First. Jenna's takeaway from your soliloquy there was New, New Balance. Balance. Yeah.